This past weekend, I was at the Maker Fair Orlando with Halo, a three-pound melty brain, built as a collaboration between myself and Pierce Jensen. We didn't really know what to expect, as this was the first time robot for both of us, though we did feel good going to our first match against a vertical spinner named Beal from Hell. We thought we could land a good hit on his weapon, and that would take him out. Let's see what happened. Audience, are you ready for this? Yeah. You gotta get more excited than that. I mean, we got two minutes to see if it lasts more than 15 seconds. We're gonna start this in three, two, one, fight! Slow throw by speed. That's the ball. That's the ball. Oh. You hit the wall, Pierce! Oh, yeah, it worked. And that's a tap. What happened? The teensy came out. Did it really? Bouncing around the walls knocked a micro controller out of its socket. We put it back in, smeared some epoxy around the pins, and put down some hot glue and zip ties just for good measure. Up next is a ram bot named Double Crosser. We were just hoping that nothing else pops off our bot. Halo being a full body multi brain spinner, the entire thing spins and then they control it via awesome electronics. Okay. Make sure you have it. It's spinning. It's got LEDs that are directional and telling you which way to go. Watch that again and see if you can spot the battery. We struck his wedge slope and tore straight through, shattering the Lexon cover on the process and tearing out all of his rivets, which also removed the wedge on the other side of the robot. Knocking his battery out was lucky, because we got knocked out too. The power connector and the signal connector for one of the ESCs tore off the circuit board, disabling our bot. This took the match to a judge's decision, which we won. Q 45 minutes of scrambling to replace what ended up being significant damage on the circuit board. We got lucky that there happened to be a booth at the Maker Fair selling discrete components, which we soldered and then buried in hot glue until they wouldn't move anymore. Next up is a horizontal spinner named Insomnia. We were actually in the pit across from us and were watching us scramble to fix our bot. This strategy was to make us kill ourselves on them. Let's see how it worked out. We are going to start this in three, two, one, fight! These are three-pound robots. They have two minutes to fight. Same, oh, there goes Insomnia's back plate. That was superficial arm. We hit their top plate, which pulled all the threaded inserts out of their plastic chassis. We also cracked their chassis in the exchange. Our bot was totally fine though, so we put a new battery in and we queued up for the next match. Next was an underpouting horizontal spinner named Hissy Fit. Are you ready? Hit a thumbs up. Judges, audience, this is three pound, uh, three pounders. This is going to be fun. We're going to start this in three, two, one, fight. So Halo itself, the entire thing spins. Hissy Fit is an underpounder. He immediately loses a wheel. Halo. As Halo, uh -oh. Halo itself is a... As you can see, I'm having a lot of trouble controlling Halo. The beacon isn't working quite as I expected. It seems to be locking onto reflections around the arena. We're gonna have to see translation. Just turn the remote around. Or he's gonna hit you and end up in pit. He's going after that wheel though. Can he time it perfectly? Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, ah. two, one. Oh. Oh. Two good hits means two shattered hubs. It was after this match that we noticed what was going on with our tooth. It seems the force from the hits were actually starting to bend the aluminum chassis around it. But it otherwise looked fine, so we threw it in the next match. Next is Project Terminus, which once was a horizontal spinner, but his weapon got damaged in a previous fight. Now it's a Rambo. Three, two, one, fight! As you can see, Halo, the entire thing spins. And just keeps spinning. And then hits the wall and takes off part of, parts of Project Terminus. Unfortunately for Halo, we, Halo actually hit the pit and is too large to get in. Sounds like a challenge. Project Terminus was stuck on his skirt. Now he doesn't have a skirt to worry about. Ow. 
We would like to keep our arena one piece. <laughs> and now Project Terminus is stuck on his chair. And after the injury, Halo just says, I'm gonna hear, here's more screw. 10, 9, 8, 7, unless you want to bob him out. Six. Do you want to be bumped? You want to keep going. Keep bump him. Bump him. He wants to keep going. This is entertaining. You're probably not going to lose. <laughs> Project Terminus. There you go. Maybe. I think you're too big to get into the arena. Oh, now Project Terminus is like, oh, cool. He's not moving. I can hit him now. <laughs> oh, you didn't capitalize, Project Terminus. That was three walls. Can you hit all four? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Sitting next to the wall. Don't break our pit wall. Uh, 30 seconds! 30 seconds. That's two walls. Three walls. One. Oh, almost on all four. Can I chase you down? Project Terminus is just chasing you. I'm using the wall to escape it. It's like air hockey, except much more. Oh, that's nice. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Project Terminus is down to one drive. No Halo won the judge's decision. Looking at the damage, the metal tabs prevented us from landing a really good hit, but we did manage to dent up his chassis a bit, and we disabled a drive motor. Up next is a wedge bot named Sparrow. Three, two, one, fight! I've learned my lesson. My knee is no longer against the arena's wall. As Halo is up to speed, fully spaced. Oh, 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 and that was one of them. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And unfortunately. That was officially the luckiest hit of the night. Next, a vertical egg beater named Creedmoor. Loser of this takes fourth place in the three times. I just tried to top it off the batch with three more minutes and fast as I would be ready. All right, Creedmoor in the red square, are you ready? Halo in the blue square, are you ready? Judges, we are going to start this fight in three, two, one, fight. Oh, I saw that. Uh, Creedmoor coming straight across and hitting Halo. Halo doesn't care, it's back up to speed. Halo being a multi brain, the entire three pound spin, so it's a much more powerful mass. Thanks for destroying our pit. And Creedmoor is. Oh, no, Creedmoor's okay. Maybe not. Weapon's not so good. He says the weapon's not so good. That was a hard hit. Halo is there. Both robots, so good. Well, yeah, both robots are still running. We are just over 30 seconds gone in this fight. It's another brutal hit. Now I see a screw in the I'm not sure what that means. Creedmoor's still moving. Halo's still moving. Creedmoor's weapon's gone. As there's still one minute and five seconds remaining in this fight. Now I get a better shot of that screw. I still don't know. Like not us. Creedmore. Not us. Not Halo. That's right. Halo doesn't use screws. It's held together by hope and faith. <laughs> 55 seconds remaining in this fight. Neither robot seemingly able to get into the pit. Both of them trying their best. Halo's up to still moving. Oh, he says now he's right now. Thanks for breaking our pit. Three more spring looking a little thing. Halo, I can't tell anything about because it's uh, spinning. Diagnostic, tell me about it. He's got white lights. I'm not really sure what that means. Oh. oh! That's the second time you've gone almost into the area. Pit. And now three more. We got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and this fight is over. It is going to the judges who will decide the fate of this robot and who proceeds to fight. We won on a judge's decision again, but the LEDs had started going out and the chassis around the tooth had bent so far that we actually decided to run the next match in reverse. Our next opponent was Mombot, a Rambot who had swapped out her forks for a wedge at this match. Mombot, judges, ready? Ready. Three, two, one, fight! 
Loser takes third. Rebound knocked out Mombot's drive and guaranteed a second place. Now, the finals against a vertical egg beater, Spinner Spinner Chicken Beater. In the blue square, Halo coming through the loser's bracket. I know how hard it is to run. Spinner Spinner, so. are you ready? Halo, are you ready? Yeah. Judges? Yeah. You got two minutes, we're going to start in three, two, one, fight! Yeah. And after attempting fate with the pit one last time, Spinner Spinner Chicken Dinner knocked us right in. After two days, nine matches, and a full stick of hot glue, we took second place. I was worried going in that at only 1100 RPM, Halo spun too slowly to be useful. But it turns out we had enough momentum and bite to bend weapons, crack plastic, and dislodge internals. Halo also proved difficult to attack. Rams had trouble pinning, and other spinners couldn't do much more than take chips out of the mountain body. Still, there's room to improve. The infrared beacon wasn't working as expected, so I'll likely replace it with a different sensor. We came in underweight, so the next ring will be likely thicker. Hopefully that stops the tooth from destroying itself. I also plan on installing motor phase sensors to improve translation speed and spin-up time. And as always, if you want to learn how Halo works, check out the link to my blog below. Thanks for watching.